Good morning everyone. Happy New Year. Oh my goodness, it's 2021. How amazing is that? Um, I just want to wish each and every one of you a wonderful New Year. I pray that you have a just wonderful experience this year, that your dreams come true, that you get many, many blessings. And now that we know what we're facing, we can go forward happier than what we've been in the past months because it has been such a difficult adjustment for every single one of us um so he's hoping that 2021 brings more blessings and we can get through to next christmas and hopefully it'll be a totally different year from what we've gone through last year today i want to show you the new challenge from paulette of trc creates and the kit, as usual, is split into two parts. Paulette's done one part and Zerna's done her part. And the idea is, is that you make something and then you get additional bits of the kit once you've posted it in the group. Same as usual. It's actually been brought forward a day because um, the last person was saying it was going to go off at the second, but it's actually going up today on New Year's Day, which I think is lovely. Um, so I'm going to show you Paulette's bit first. Now it's a TN, a mini TN, which I think is absolutely amazing. So this is the cover. I don't like that. You can see this is the cover. Obviously, you fold that in half, and then these are the enclosures, and then you have six pages, which gives you six actual sheets. You know that you can fold in half for your. Um, inserts you know for your pages and you get these like belly bands that you can make into pockets or whatever you decide to do and it's called strawberry fields which i think is absolutely lovely um you know it reminds you of summer and the beatles and you know things like that aren't these lovely and i just adore the strawberries that you can fussy cut out and pop on the pages um, now there is a backing sheet to this as well so that when you print all these you can print the backing on which is a lovely backing so you don't have to print them off and then glue them together which is absolutely brilliant so you land up with a really really lovely um, TN afterwards now that bit is, is in Paulette's store which I'll link below and they're only about a dollar or so each each of the kits and then Zern has done the ephemera. So you've got pockets here and then journaling cards. And then you've got a lovely envelope here and sayings. Oops, let me do that. And little headings like here to do, dreams, notes, shopping list. Um, and then lovely little sayings down the side here. And then she's done these tags here and you've got the more journaling cards then we've got these lovely lovely inserts here um you know they look like your your gift uh, gift receipts you know um that you can tear off i think these are really lovely and if you cut them you know pop them in this way you can attach these as they are straight onto a page to write on which I quite like doing, or you can use them as journaling cards, or you could actually take the lot together, if you print these on paper, and make them into a mini, mini notebook. Uh, that one you've already seen, so we've popped that in twice. Right. <laughs> so those are the two kits, and then I'll show you what I've done. I've left some of the things to so that you can play with them. Um, because obviously I don't want to take all the imagination away from you I've left different bits that you can do yourself now this is the basic TN um, actually I'll take that from underneath there because I just had the, the kit on it so this is the closure now I've popped little eyelets in mine so it's easy to open like this and then you can slide it out um, so I've just made now this one I've printed it all on cardstock. This is all on the Xerox cardstock 120 GSM, 
which is a lightweight cardstock, the sort that you know you will get if you go into a supermarket and buy kids crafts card, you know, the stuff that, that, that they give you there. This is one of the belly bands that I've cut into a pocket here and I've put a couple of the little guest check type receipt things at the top. I mean, I've really, really had fun with this. I did this one quite quickly, which, which surprised me. And this is one of the pockets. And again, we've got a journaling card and another little receipt at the top. And I've popped this little poppet here on her own when life gives you strawberries. And she's absolutely adorable, isn't she? This would make such a lovely little gift for somebody. And I love this sort of thing. Um, I used to do a lot of the My por Porch Prince ones that she does. Um, uh, so it's been quite a while since I've, I've done things like this. And I'm loving that Paulette's getting into this type of thing. Because it really does. It makes you think. It makes you think how to use things in a different way. And it's lovely to have a little gifts indoors just in case. Now in the kit. There is a collage sheet. Now, depending on how big you print the collage sheet. Now, this one I've done at two to a page. And by doing that at two to a page, and then having the template from the um, envelope, you can then cut out another envelope. So that's where I've got this little mini envelope from. I've just literally, I've not glued it down so you could see, and I backed it. This this is actually the full size on the back. So you can see it's, it really is quite big if you print it on the full size. And that is on the two to a page. And it makes a lovely size envelope if you do it on the two to a page printing. There's a blank just there. Now this is the um, tag that Paulette gave away in group. Now. I found that the way to get the size for this journal was I printed this on the um, 9 to a page. Now if you go into to normal printing where if you just click on the actual photo and the photo comes up and then you can adjust the sizes, you might be able to get this slightly bigger. But I just was playing with the, um, you know, just printing on so many on a page yesterday. Um, and here's one of the tags. now. With these tags, I've left this for you to do because it is a lovely, lovely concept. And I don't want to take all your imagination away from you when you do this. I'm just going to find the... If you notice on the tags, they've got these little strips here. So you can either make them join together, so you've got like a flippy tag, or you can join these to the side of your book, you know, the page. If you cut that out and then you fold down there, I would advise using a score tool or you know, a ruler with something. You can then pop that underneath there and attach it so that it flips out. So you've got it on here and it flips out. But I want to see what you do with this bit. I'd, you know, as I say, like with the collage sheets, I've only done the envelope with the collage sheets. I've not done anything else because I, d I like to show you ideas but not take away your imagination right here th again this is one of the small ones that Paulette put in group uh, it's a freebie so if you're in group you'll, you'll still be able to find it. it was about a week ago that she popped that in it was a, a hint to say what the next challenge was going to be um, on this little journal I've added a couple of beads on the bottom and then here I've made a pocket just by gluing two pages together as we do and then if I can get my fingers in there that's the thing when it's thinner card it's not so easy to, to, to get into I've made a journaling card now this was done on the four to a page size which I'll have just here and I'll just show you how much smaller it looks see on four to a page you can see you get that much smaller this size if you cut this in half or even maybe slightly smaller you can get tags out of so four to a size I would recommend for doing tags and for journal cards and two to a page I would recommend for doing um, the envelope if you want to do an envelope I mean obviously you don't have to use the same style envelope um, that is entirely up to you you can do the fold over envelope as well but as you can see, it comes out, you get a lovely, lovely notebook. It really is, and it feels so nice. 
Um, once I did this one, I thought I would then do with the paper. And this is a, it's actually um, a label, but I loved it as a belly band. And another belly band, about, and that's the actual original envelope in there. So that's the, that's the one that I didn't, and that was all card, that one, all of it. But then I did another one, and this time what I did was I um, used paper inside. I printed on paper. So obviously it's a lot thinner. Um, it'll be better, you know, for using inside your um, handbag or something like this. But then I added, with the papers, I've added some... Um, dyed paper in here um, there's some in here you can see book page paper so I've added to the original pages but it gives a very nice little notebook then um, it's much thinner than using the card if I show you like this hopefully you can see you know it's about half the size but I've also added into, I haven't put any ephemera in this yet though, um, but obviously, and I, but I've added pages. So you can decide on the sort of TN you want to make. Then I printed it all out and I cut the pages. We're still printing at the correct size, which is just the normal A4 or um, letterhead paper, you know, the, the letter size that you have in, in America. And I didn't fold the pages this time, and I thought this would make a lovely brag book. So I've taken the cover that we normally would fold in half, and I've put the label on the front here with a couple of little brads, just to make it look a little bit different. And then I've, uh, I've thought I'd turn this into a, bra a brag book. And those who don't know what a brag book is, it's basically um, a book that you have photos of your children, your grandchildren, things like that in, and you carry it around in your handbag so you can show people if they ask. Um, and I had a couple of little photos on the side. This is actually me when I was a baby. That was taken some time ago with my dolly. And this here is where the guinea pigs used to go in my grandfather's back garden. And on the back here, this is me with my Auntie Phyllis. Now my Auntie Phyllis and my Nana, this is my Nana and Granddad's garden, worked at the mill in Isha, Surrey. And the mill was a paper mill and they did printing and book binding and all that lot and julie andrews her mum worked with my nan and my auntie phyllis and they all worked at isha mill um so uh you know my, my nan obviously knew julie when she was a little girl and obviously she's a big movie star now isn't she um but that i think would be lovely if you've got pictures in here of the grandkids this would be so nice now i've printed two lots of these pages to give it a nice size the belly bands um, I hope you can see here what I do with the belly bands is I used a tear ruler down either side and then I folded it in half to put a, like a different color strip on the side um, this is something that Tracy Fox did in one of her mates I think it was her teachable it would have been her tumble down journal I remember her, do, her doing it in that um, and it gives such a lovely different effect to the pages. Now, if you want to make one of these, um, I would highly recommend you get the ring reinforcements to go over your hole. And I cover my cover my ring reinforcements with a little bit of vintage photo. Obviously, you can use whichever colour you like. Um, um, but the other thing I've did, I scored this along here, which makes it easier to bend the pages. And that is at half an inch. Um, you can make it slightly bigger if you want to. That is up to you what, how big you want the bend a bit. But it just makes it easier when you're trying to turn the pages over. So that's a couple of ideas for what you could do with these papers. I mean, obviously, I like to try and look at the original idea, which, of course, is the TN. And then change that up into other things that we could do because... How many of us buy a kit, use it once, and that's it, you don't go back to it again. Um, that's what I loved about the fabrication kits last year when Andrea and Tracy did the 30-day um, tag challenge. And Andrea was suggesting that you did 100 tags in the month. 
um, and I love that because I was revisiting kits I hadn't used in a very long time and it was so much fun because you remember the kits that you've got and you think oh my goodness I could do this with it could do this with this so when you buy a kit please look at the ideas around you and think of trying to think of something different you can do with them because it'd be such a shame to spend money on kits and some of them are really expensive kits you know they're, they're not cheap some of them and then you you know you use it once or sometimes you forget you even forget that you bought a kit <laughs> i do that um you know i do design team with our cara and what makes me laugh is i've gone and brought a couple of kits and she's already given them to me <laughs> that's life um you know that's what happens when you start to get dementia it runs through the female side of my family <laughs> but have fun with this it's a wonderful bright kit that makes you feel good and once you start playing with this the ideas just keep flowing where you could put some lace in how you could adjust this what you could do with this obviously if you print it in paper and then the ephemera in card you can do so much more with it because you've got all that space that you can fill out obviously if you're doing card you've got quite a thick thing um but again it's it's beautiful so you need to make that choice as well so the kits will both be in store today from paulette and from zern i will link both the kits they don't charge more than about a dollar or so for these so you know it's about a pound in in us or, or a euro um and the idea is you make something is up to you what you make you post a picture into group and then you get the rest of the kit you just email them and they send it through to you so have fun have an amazing new year's day i'm not sure yet whether the kids are coming over or not later um they were supposed to be coming over for dinner but maybe because we've had quite a lot of snow ice and the temperatures have really plummeted here um it would depend on the roads because they come from quite a bit away and where they live right they're, they're right up in the in the in the hills right up um so you know they have to watch the roads first and obviously with nile in the car you've got to make sure that everything's safe before you come out so i might have family here for dinner i might be on my own <laughs> i don't mind i even got my knitting out yesterday that that's how it was last night i was actually catching up on things and i sat here yesterday and i thought i'm going to do some knitting because i haven't done some knitting for quite some time and you know tracy fox so many people bless you have all been posting in group showing us your what you want to finish and what you finished products products because this was the challenge and it's finishing today to start you know find something you haven't finished finish it pop it into group and then tracy will do a draw and somebody will ring, win a journal that she needed to finish uh, and she has now finished and somebody will win one of that so this is what i'm doing at the moment i've just got the front to do i've done the sleeves i've done the back and i'm just doing the front so i'm doing a bit of cable at the moment and i'm really enjoying it it's it's nice to, to sort of do something different sometimes because you know for me to do a video um it usually takes me a couple of days for the prep work by the time you've cut everything out and you've worked out what you're going to do and then you've made it it takes quite a long long time so i really enjoyed doing this yesterday so i'm going to do a bit of knitting today and think what the next challenge will be so thank you so much guys for being here blessed new year to all of you and i'll see you all soon bye